get our recording. Hi, I'm Nikki, and that's Mike, and this is Emily. Hello. You probably. Oh. Oh, I have dog barking. Uh, the dogs think that we're talking to somebody else, <laughs> or that somebody's here. They're not used to this. Um, we have been to World Market, and we have bought all kinds of new and exciting candies and cookies and desserts from other countries around the world. We have mostly Japanese, don't we? Yeah, I'll read them off. We have yeah. Japanese-style green tea mochi. We can show, hold it up to the camera there. For... Oh, I want to do it. So, okay. There you go, Emily. Japanese-style taro mochi. We have milk chocolate tea cakes from Tunnock's brand. I don't know where that's from. I assume England, because it's an English. An English thing. Might be India. Over there. Right here? Yeah. We have dark chocolate truffle cups, caramel sea salt. Where are those from? Milk Ooh. chocolate truffle cups, peanut butter. Ooh, I didn't even know we had those. We have a big Kit Kat chunky hazelnut oh. bar. We have Sing Goala raspberry filled cookies. We have cheap pommiers. Those are French. Like crunchy, buttery. Pastry cookie, cookie. Almost like a cookie croissant hybrid. This, we assume, are green tea Kit Kats, but it's all in Japanese, I guess. We can't read Japanese. But there's like a green liquid. <coughs> With a great right respect for the Japanese language, no it's ability to read it or Asian pronounce it. Even though I love Japanese culture. Uh, it says it's there's a really sticker on the package. This product is not a product authorized by the United States trademark owner for importation and is physically and materially different from the authorized product. But it says Nestle Kit Kat on it, so we'll try it. And this is men's brand, N E N Z. Candy <laughs> so honeycomb. Very manly. Very masculine. Made and owned. Delicious Aussie treat with a crunch. And this is my mango flavored bean hookah. And I can see colors when I eat, and so I'm going to be drawing an eye, and I'm going to be putting the colors of the eye, when uh, the which are the colors that I see when I eat a certain food into the eye. And, uh, we decided and I'll just show it at the end of the video. We're going to try these, uh, we assume, green tea Kit Kats first. We also all have our own beverages that we enjoy with with snacks and things. and I enjoy water. water. Oh. It's a very good I have a thing. Coke, but I have ice tea. Alright, we are opening up. From Taco. That's an interesting smell. Smell before we try. Smell taste test. It smells like it smells like a package. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. So I'm assuming it's green again, because it's got green wrapper all in green. Yeah, I wonder if the green. taste of my mango. Although it does say, have a break, that. have a Kit Kat in English on it. So well, here's one for you. Merci. Here's one for you. Arigato. Hey, I actually said something right. And just to check, yeah, they're all green. So all okay. green. I think we are all, I think these are green tea. Oh, yeah, this smells like green tea. Oh, it does. I'll I open think. Two little mini Kit Kat bars. Hey, I'll break one off. And they are all I mean. green. Break me off a piece All of that good guy. Cheers. Uh, Cheerses. That is really good. I am loving that. That's an odd flavor, but it's not as sweet it's as It's not unpalatable. Yeah, it's not as sweet it as It kind of tastes like... Like a slightly green tea flavored white chocolate. Yeah, it's definitely white chocolate. And I mean, the Kit Katty part, the the crunchy part is just exactly the same. But no, I'm good with it. I don't think that I'm not fond of white chocolate usually, so I don't think I would eat this. This would not be my snack of choice, but it is. Pretty, it's okay. It's good. Uh, it's a neat little. Despite the green color of it, I am seeing kind of a Here's sky this. blue for this. Kit Kat. Right, back. Let her finish her. Despite the green color and it being green tea, I'm seeing a sky blue as the color I'm tasting. For those of you out there who don't get what Emily's doing, it's called synesthesia. Some people have the ability to see, like, 
tastes or see sounds or words. Like, there's a whole book about it called Monday is a Blue Day, and I don't remember who wrote it, but it's an actual phenomenon. And oh, that's kind of an, an aftertaste to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've noticed a bit of an aftertaste of you. Yeah, but it's not awful. No, it's not a bad aftertaste. It just kind of lingers. It's kind of like a mellow one. It is a mellow one. It's, it's a satisfying aftertaste, not like an ugh. It is improved by mango ihuka. It's not too sweet. Not too sweet, uh, not too dull either. Should we continue with the Kit Kat theme? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do it. Hazelnut Kit Kat. You want to go show bar. it to the camera? Okay. Maybe do that first. Kit Kat Chunky and Hazelnut. Oh, don't feed these to your pets. It's a bad idea. Especially your cats and dogs. And if you have a pot belly pig, don't feed it to your pig. We've been talking yeah, about pigs a lot. It comes in three sections. <laughs> hey, there's one for each of us. Brilliant! My other daughter's in college. Hi, Jessica. Guess what you're missing out on. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Oh, Holy God. freaking cow moo. Holy cow, my taste buds are dancing. Mm. What is that? Dance. Oh, it sparkles in my mouth. It's got a little bit of a zing. Mm. That's good. It's like a nutless oh. Ferrero Rocher. That is delicious. It's really good. Mm. That is delicious. Hazelnut Kit Kat. 72 thumbs up, if I had 72 thumbs. You okay. can draw a picture of me with 72 thumbs. I don't know. <laughs> so, mm, hazelnut plus mango. Yep, that's good. Okay. Okay, what I'm seeing now is a kind of a burnt orange goldy color. I don't know what that stands for. That is delicious. I would eat 12 million of those if I could, which would explain this. Oh. What I can read on the package, uh, it's not in English again, it looks like it comes from Budapest. Mmm. It's a Cyrillic alphabet. Most of, the, most of it. Well, good job, Budapest. Thank you, Budapest. Alright. What's next? I say we should try some mochi. Alright, which one? I want to go with the taro. Taro. We did something green tea already, so. Alright. Japanese style mochi. And, uh, it's actually some information on the back. I wish I knew how to blow smoke green. No, there's no tap ring. For those of you who don't know, I'm using crayons and colored pencils. And this isn't real smoke, it's water vapor. I don't actually smoke. But I suggest outlining it with... A this brown. is way too much information. I am sorry For about all of us. Huge. I am sorry. Oh, it would be kind of cool if you did some videos about your artwork. True. I have another video. Camera. I do have my own YouTube channel. I don't have very many followers. I didn't even know you had a YouTube channel. Good wow, thing. some mom I am. <laughs> I've commented on one of your videos before. That was you? Yes! Oh. There's a silica pouch in there. Ah, that's... That, dry. That's interesting. And there's six little things in here. Tiny little Doo doo. Ah, stay in. Okay. <laughs> it feels kind of gummy. What is this? What are well, these? Well, it, it, it is made mochi. out of rice. Noki. Noki. No, this is a mochi. 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 What? Noki is a Italian dumpling. No, that's a gnocchi. That's, yeah, that's gnocchi. Mochi. 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 M -O -C -H or mochi. Or mochi. 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 And they're covered in so, sugar, maybe? You want me to go show one of them to the camera? I'll do it. <laughs> no, I got it. No, uh, it's on the other side you're, of the table. You're, you're the art drawer. Draw, well, the... Well, Artists. You're the artist. Powder, I'm the artist. Powder, I'm powder, just sure. me. I, I can't make up a song about this right now. I guess I could. Feels kind of gummy. Mochi, mochi. I don't know Cheers. Cheese. Cheers. Cheers. Try a bite. 
Yummy. What in the world is that? Kind of bland. I think there's something in the center. It is. But I don't know. It's like a dough. There's no sweetness to it at all, really. Well, oh, once you get into the center, it kind of... The Ooh. chocolate... Mm. The chocolate part's pretty sweet. There's no chocolate. Well, I don't know. What is that, then? Like a brownie kind of substance? I don't know. What is that? It's chocolatey in flavor. It actually kind of tastes like flour on the outside. I don't know side. what this is. It's not bad. I'm afraid now, because I don't know what went into making this. It's fine. Be afraid, Mommy. Well, it, Be it's very fine. Afraid. It's not yucky. It's just not particularly yummy. It's just kind of mediocre. Doesn't have much in the way of flavor. I only see kind of a pinky color. Yeah, just that right. mm -hmm. It's okay. No. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of pinky orange. I need to do the other one or just somewhere else? Let's do something else and come back to the other. Let's do, Let's do the truffles. You want to do the truffle cups? Let's do the candy honeycomb. Let's yeah. go to Australia. Let's go down under. Let's go down under, mate. Candy honeycomb. Like a chocolate cube. Not to be confused with the honeycomb cereal. Not to be confused with the chocolate covered honeycomb cereal. I'm wondering if this is real honeycomb or if it's just honeycomb in appearance. And they are not easy to wrap. Cool. Chocolate coated. It's kind it of smells it's not really good. Heavy. It smells good. It smells like candy. Cheers. Are you kidding me? Kaboom. And uh, ow. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Holy goodness, that's good. That can't be a real honeycomb. No, it's not. What is it? It's almost like the inside of a, a malt ball. Yeah, but it's toffee flavored. Yeah. No, I think I don't know what that is. What is got diddly dang good? I can't curse in this house. You grabbed me from that. Yeah, I did. Well, I like it. it. I think it has a toffee flavor with a bit of a malted milk texture, and the chocolate just really finishes it off. <clears throat> and again, it's not overly sweet chocolate. Good job, Aussies. Thanks, Australia. Oh man, I love this. Mm. I think this has become my favorite treat so far out of the bunch. I don't know. The hazelnut Kit Kat was really good. True. It was. I, but this is close. It doesn't go well with my sweet tea. <laughs> it's yummy. What about your hookah? Alright, let's see. Mango e hookah makes everything better. Yeah, and it's almost like the inside is a crispier version of a Butterfinger. No, no, Butterfinger's you know what? harder than this. It's kind of like a harder version of a meringue cookie. Mm, no. I think their first, our first description of toffee crossed with malted milk is a good description, personally. See, it because it has that melt-in-your-mouth quality that malted milk does, like, it, like in Whoppers. To me, it does not taste like toffee. It tastes like honey. Here, I'm seeing turquoise here. I don't taste anything like honey to me. Does that taste like honey to you? It's faint. It's it's there, but it's not. Okay, this is really interesting, and it's going to sound kind of gross, but I took a bite out, and there's a little bit of saliva lingering on the candy, and it's disintegrating the candy. <laughs> that looks kind of cool. Mmm. It's got a buttery quality like toffee kind of does. I'm sorry, that tastes like toffee. And that's good. If you think it tastes like toffee, then I, I love toffee, but it hurts my teeth because it's so hard, so I don't usually eat it, so. 
This is a good now circuit. I have a good alternative. Mmm. Did we hear say we got all this from Walmart? Market? What color? Yes. Huh? Oh, I kind of saw pastel green. Mm. Don't know why. <laughs> Honestly, with that, I kind of thought I would be seeing golden brown. So, when, when it came out of pastel green, it really surprised me. What's next? One cup or coffee or tea cake? Cookie. Let's work I'll on say the mochi peanut for last. butter truffle cup. And I think there's only two in there. there are. So we're gonna have to find a way to split it. Alright. Then I'll have half of one, you have half of one. No. Wait. You should have one whole one. No, we'll just split one in thirds. Oh, splitting one third. Okay. That works for me. Do you want me to get a knife? Mm. He's got this, yo. He got this, yo. <clears throat> this is interesting, guys. It looks like they actually molded them right into the plastic. That is you know, paper like you see with Reese's. We got all this stuff at World Market BTW. I asked if we mentioned that. Did we? Yeah. Never mind. Alright, looks like this is gonna here. Kind of mushy. But... Ooh, mush, mush, mush. That was... Thank you, sir. Whoa, wow, yeah. Here, you can look at the packaging. They actually molded the cup. Oh, well, that's cool. Right into the plastic. Uh, All right, cheers. Cheers. Hmm. That's like a subtler version of a Reese's peanut butter cup. Well, it's the truffle style, so it's more creamy. It's more creamy. And a little fluffier than, a, than an actual peanut butter cup. For okay. those of you Is who that don't... that crunchy peanut butter? No. no, that's smooth. What is that? I'm, I'm all You're afraid to ask. No. <laughs> I saw a red. This uh, is distributed out of Oakland, California, and it's made in the U.S. And why did it world market? <laughs> I have no. There is no brand on it at all. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's illegal. That's a. Uh, just kidding! A lighter version of a Reese's. It's not as sweet again. All of these aren't really mm. sweet. Yeah, but I kind of like that with this. I kind of do. Because it's, it's more... It's not too heavy. I like a... It's not too overwhelming. It's kind of fluffy. Alright, green tea? The green tea mochi. Hopefully these are better than the other ones. Same as the other one, but... but green tea. Green. Same as the others, but the box is green and green tea flavor. Go pick it. And then, yeah, I would still eat the other ones, but out of all of this stuff we've tried so far, it would be my the last thing on my list, that other mochi. Yeah, yeah I can like strawberry mochi a lot better. You've had them? I have. I never have seen any mochi before. I have, I've just seen it really much smaller. It's like a little marshmallow made out of rice. Us? I don't know what these are made out of. I think it's the same thing. The ones I have had are made out of rice, so I don't know what they're actually You open it upside down! I don't see the other way. Then there's another silica powder. This is so relaxing. Gummy, gummy, gummy. <laughs> Toast to uh, the viewers out there. Which probably there aren't any. <laughs> I don't know. You actually have quite a few subscribers. You probably said that the other one was kind of tannish. Mm -hmm. This one's just darker green. This actually tastes better this than the other one did. Don't you think? It kind of tastes mm -hmm. like tea. Well, I'm like, I, I can taste the green tea a lot better in this than I could in the green tea Kit Kat. And it has more flavor than the taro mochi did. It is very tea-ish. Mm, this one is really good. Mm-hmm, I like this. Mm. Let's see. I wonder, I really want to know what is in these. I wonder if we can look that up online at some point. 
My mind really can't decide what color this is. It's having a hard time deciding. It's silver and sparkly. <laughs> mm. Tickles. <laughs> I'm kind of seeing a dark greeny brown. What an awful color. <laughs> no, it's like a pretty one, not like baby barf green. Really? We're eating and you want to talk about baby barf? No, it's a color. I, I just, I have no explanation. Mmm. I like it very much. Thirteen thumbs up. I can't. One, two, three, four, Mama, five, six, you want seven, the rest eight, of mine? nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. No, you keep it. I'll just save the rest for later. Thank you. Cookie, tea cake, or truffle cup. Oh my! My mom finally made up what color it is. And there's petite on here too. Oh, we've had those. Before. Yeah, but they haven't seen it. Most parts have been doing everything. Everything, Mike. Um, everything. Single. What are these called? Single voila. Where is that from? The, the flag's on there. I can take a look. You should look that up before we eat these. Is that Finland or? Let me see. No, that's not Finland. That's um. Good boys. Can I see? Oh, that's. Uh, I think that's Sweden. Might be Sweden. Or Norway. Right, I'm not so sure. Cookie just before April. God, this is from Sweden. It's. It's Swedish cookie. Thank you, Italia. I learned more than that uh, from that than I did in world history class. Are we doing this one now? Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir. <laughs> I almost called you ma'am. Sorry. Get close to the Really, it would have been a compliment. <sighs> cookie for me. That's a cookie for you. You know, I kind of expected the top to be kind of oh, It's really not. Good. It's got it's got a cream like a like an Oreo type of center. There's a little jelly type of thing in the Ooh, middle of the top good. of the cookie, and it smells kind of like a maybe shortbread or butter cookie type of thing. Everybody, cheers! A toast cheers. to Mars. And I'm trying to. So there we go. Very difficult to separate that. You want to separate it? It's harder mm. than to do than uh, than Oreo. Oreo. Ah! That's because this red. Raspberry stuff is really sticky. It sticks to your teeth. All right, wow. Sweden, here we go. Hmm. Hmm. It really sticks to your That's teeth. That's a good cookie. Bite into it. It's not very unique, really. It doesn't seem. I could find this, but yeah, that raspberry stuff is incredibly sticky. It's like sticky. The residue is sticking to my teeth. It doesn't really add. Ah. A faint raspberry flavor. It's just. It's like it's. Other than that, it's just a white Oreo. Yeah. It just makes it more difficult to eat. <laughs> Actually, no, I, I like the raspberry flavor. I can taste it. Mm. I'm seeing kind of purple here. That's something that probably be best, be best with a hot coffee. Oh, hot cocoa. That too. It's more of a strawberry. I'm seeing. Right, back to truffle cups. These are out of Oakland again. But still, no branding on the package. Strange! You sure it's Oakland, California, Planet Earth? <laughs> it says Oakland, California, 94607. Are you sure that's not the star code? Mm. I think it would taste a little bit better if it had milk. 
chocolate instead of dark chocolate. I mean, I'm There's a big... There's a cross between some type of a candy cup and a salted caramel truffle. Well, it is a truffle. And I have caramel all over my fingers. I kind of saw... I need a napkin. I'm not a fan of that spring one. Spring green. We should have napkins. We have some napkins. Oh! You're going to produce them here? Is it magical? Magical napkins. Magic napkins! Thank you. And then I think our, right. our last there. thing Caramel, besides so the petite... There's something wrong with him. We but our chocolate's pretty good. I actually do like dark chocolate very I much. Really like I honestly think that it would Well, taste I don't like your face, but I put up with it. I honestly think that it would have tasted a lot better with milk chocolate. Okay. okay. Should we go on to these tea cakes? I'm, oh, oh yeah. you want to save those for last? Or? Okay. Let's do a petite, petite pommier. Pommier. Mm -hmm. Now, we've had these before, and they are one of our absolute favorite snacks. So much so that we had to stop buying them because we... Yeah, they're kind too of good. splurged our money. They are like they're the splurged our tummy cookie, basically. I yeah, they're the very lot. flaky. They're almost layered, very buttery, but yet that crispy, and they really do melt in your mouth. These things are awesome. They're really good with like jelly on them too, but they're if you can, by themselves. I don't know if it'll pick it up. Jelly, you can see all the layers. Preserves. Raspberry that preserves. Raspberry preserves. These cookie. are my favorite. These are good layers. with preserves. These are good with like Nutella. Many, many spread on layers. Them. Yeah, lots of layers. So. Cross the swords. What? <laughs> cheers. 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 I didn't get cheers with my key. <laughs> Some of it just fell on my lap. Mm. 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 It's not that they're extremely sweet, because they're really not. They're not overpoweringly sweet at all. They're very mild. This really does kind of minor, minorize the dark chocolate that we just tasted. Minimalize. Minimalize. That's the word I'm looking for. Minimalize. Or whatever that word is. Whatever word I'm looking for. If you can figure it out, please put it in the comment section. Yep. I love these things. I can eat them by themselves, but I think a lot of people would rather have something on top of them. Like some kind of Nutella, like we said, or some kind of preserves, or maybe a marshmallow fluff. Or fruit. You could put fruit on these. This is something I wouldn't be surprised to find in a tin of Danish butter cookies. It's yeah. very similar to Very similar butter. to that, only similar. more layered. Mm. I think these are actually better than Danish butter cookies. I love Danish butter cookies. Mm. They are very messy. <laughs> Oh yeah, some of them. Because they kind of flake apart. Yeah. Can I take this last one up? I yeah. love the whole texture of them and the way that when you put them in your mouth, they start out really crunchy and then they just kind of melt. I'm seeing kind of a khaki right here. Mmm. Give me a second, I'm not done with my palm here. I'm just looking at this. I think these are French. Are these French? I think so. I'm asking my. I assume so. I don't know that these are actually made in France, but Petite Pommier, certainly uh -huh. French sounding. Yep, a centuries old French recipe with over 300 layers of dough and 100% butter. No calories in this <laughs> at all, and no fat whatsoever, so it if you're says, on a diet... It says no. zero grams of trans fat on it. That's, and that's all a lie, by the way. But, yeah, the, nobody does pastries like the French. It's an enticing French? and unique cookie that's even better with ice Keep cream, doing this right. whipped cream, or just a touch of honey. Ooh, honey, man, that's a good thing to try. We I have, like, raspberry raw or creamed honey in the other room. That would be good. Bruce, this, this, let me this say... Out of California as well. Prince, just let me say, this is something you're doing right. Yeah, but these are from California. Gosh darn it. California, stop stealing Prince's ideas. As you finish that up, remember this brand is Tunnux. T-U-N-N-O-C-K apostrophe S. Established 1890. Says still a family business. Well, good on you, family of guess, Tunnux people. Take your best guess where it comes from. England. Yeah. Who else makes tea cakes? 
product will be Hidden Kingdom, made by Thomas Tunnock Limited, 34 Old Mill Road, Uddingston, Glasgow. Ooh, this from comes Scotland. Out of Scotland! Oh, they're from Scotland! Alright! That's even better! Good job, Scotland! You know why? Braveheart. <laughs> even though Mel Gibson is from Australia. It's William a, Wallace. It's a delicious biscuit base, topped with marshmallow and covered with real milk chocolate. Ooh. That actually sounds pretty good right now. They have a little illustration on the back mm. of their bakery storefronts. Circa 1897. That's pretty cool. That is cool. Let me see. You want to go show the 1897? Oh, that's cool. So let's, uh, here's the Tunnock's tea cake. <laughs> the back and there is their illustration. So, let's, uh, May I do the honors? No. That's not your job. Oh, come on, I picked them out. What? Oops. Your job is to draw pictures, and my job is to be as awesome as I am. And I think I'm falling a little bit short. Yeah, you need definitely more awesome hat. I like this hat. There's three. Take your tea cake. A little grafted foil. Oh, it's pretty. It's very um. light. Yeah. It is very light. I'm almost afraid to open it though because it's so pretty. I'm afraid to open this. Mostly marshmallow, so that makes sense. Um, what it, this reminds me of something that. A moon pie? Yeah, kind of like reminds me of a moon pie, which is much more southern I like moon pie. type of treat. Oh, but, mine got a little dent in it. Mine is cracked, but well, that's okay. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not the biggest wow. fan of things like this, but this is really good. Yeah, it's really sticky marshmallow. Well, it's really fluffy. Like, moon pies just have a little bit. This is a big old pile of marshmallow this on top of this. big old marshmallow pile on top of a cookie. Mmm. Mm. From the top of my finger there. Oh, oh it was just marshmallow. Yep. Wow. Mm. That is really sticky marshmallow. Mm. Not as sticky as the raspberry stuff. I have never That's experienced still anything. still pretty sticky. sticky. Uh -huh. it's, it's very here. good. I think this is my favorite. This and the hazelnut Kit Kat. My eye is done. It almost turns into like a caramel as you chew it. It kind of does. It kind of does. But yet not. It's not the same flavor as a caramel, but, yeah, but it's almost like a, a milk bread. I don't know. What? The texture is almost like a milk bread. No. You chew it. No. Mine is. Well, I don't know what's wrong with you. Then. I don't know what's wrong with yours. Mine was really melt in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Mine is giving me a lot of resistance when I get into it. Yours doesn't, doesn't like, like you. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but my eye is done. You want to show us your eye? Uh, yeah. Disregard the eye at the top. You're going to have to go up and show um, okay. it. Oh, okay. Cover the other one up then. You can look at the viewfinder to see. Uh, that is the eye that I drew based on all the colors that I saw. While she was eating. While I was eating. Yeah, go figure that one out. Yeah, if you... Rewind to the beginning of that video to see what I'm talking about. Chances are, are if they're at the end of the video, they saw the beginning. It's Bye. True. Bye, guys. Hey, wait, wait. Bye. Until next time, because maybe we'll do this again with something else. Bye. Bye.